Everyone talks about the fashion industry as being so critical and so exclusive and, and I just had I just had such an opposite experience. I feel like everyone I met was like, come on, yeah, how can we help you? Let's connect you or introduce you to someone. And so all these people who who really kind of lifted me up were just so helpful in getting where I wanted to go. My name is Amy Levin Klein. I'm 31 years old and I'm the founder of College Fashionista. College Fashionista is a Gen Z community-based brand empowering and impacting college students and we really focus on giving our students the skills that we think they need to succeed in the fashion industry. We have what we call community members who are students who are actually I'd say interns of the brand. They are involved in the courses we offer, creating the content on our .com, on our social. They're involved in the events that we host and they're really our biggest brand advocates. And then our brand is just open to any, you know, 18 to 22 year old who is interested in fashion and like any reader, they're engaging with our brand. So I started College Fashion East in 2009. I studied abroad in London and this was my first exposure to street style photography and really analyzing how that's kind of predicting what designers are then creating. And I thought, how cool is this? Like people on the street, real people are, are really having such influence over what's happening in the industry. And I came back my senior year and really I was naturally inspired by what my friends were wearing and what people were wearing to class. And so I felt that was worthy of documenting. And I just started taking photos of different students and packaging it together in a blog. Friends at other schools liked the idea, liked seeing what their peers were wearing. And so my senior year of college, I was you know, graduating and I had been working on this blog and thought, why not? Like now's the time to take a risk. I really believe in what I'm doing. I don't know where it's gonna go, but I know it'll go somewhere. The biggest challenges for me with growing this business have always been the tech side of the business. I cannot speak the coding language. When our site crashes, which it did in the early days, I thought like that was it. I thought when the site went down, it was never coming back. All the content was lost, all the hard work was gone. And so it took a lot of trial and error with different developers to find like the right fit. So I think finding partners that you really connect with, that really get what you're doing and you guys can speak the same language is absolutely vital. What are you thinking for social? So this is what we have. Yeah, I like it. In 2009 when I started, we were just at Indiana University and we had 12 members. We are now at over a thousand colleges and what started with 12 members is now at over 20,000 members. From your early career, if you can really understand the industry you're in, you'll be able to be more successful in your role and able to excel in the industry. And if you have an idea and you believe in it and you really, really feel like you can't do anything but this idea, then just start it, and it'll evolve into places and things you can't even imagine. I think that's really important to learn early on. Mm -hmm.